Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. So tonight we've got a little story about Merrick Garland. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Attorney General Garland deflects when asked if Hunter's sweetheart deal and Trump's indictment reflect a different standard of justice depending on political leanings. This should be interesting. U.S. Attorney Merrick Garland on Wednesday was asked about Hunter Biden's sweetheart deal with federal prosecutors. Hunter Biden agreed to plead guilty to two misdemeanor charges in a sweetheart deal given by his corrupt father's Justice Department after a five-year investigation mop-up operation. Hunter Biden will likely get probation for not paying his taxes. Only peasants go to prison for not paying their taxes. Yeah, isn't that true? As far as the gun charge, a felony, Hunter Biden won't even be pleading to that crime. Prosecutors went easy on Hunter and handled the gun charge as a diversion case. So that basically means that as long as he doesn't get in trouble for like 18 months or a year or 24 months, a prescribed period, as long as he doesn't get another gun charge, that charge will completely disappear like it never happened. Prosecutor or no serious person believes it took five years of investigating Hunter to only charge him with two misdemeanors. Meanwhile, special counsel Jack Smith indicted President Trump on 37 federal charges after just six months of investigating. See the disparity here? Merrick Garland took questions after, le after delivering remarks in Stockholm, Sweden. A reporter asked Garland about the different standards of justice depending on political leanings. Question, do President Trump and Hunter Biden's cases reflect a different standard of justice depending on political leanings? A reporter asked Merrick Garland on Wednesday. Merrick Garland deflected and referred questions to U.S. Attorney David Weiss's office. I would leave this matter in the hands of the United States attorney who was appointed by the previous president and assign this matter by the previous administration that he would be given full authority to decide, Garland said. Incredible. Uh, do President Trump and Hunter Biden's cases reflect a different standard of justice depending on political leanings? Yeah, that's that's the end of the article there. But just mind-blowing that they would investigate Hunter for five years and charge two misdemeanors and essentially get rid of the gun charge. See, once he does the diversion, he will never be able to be charged again with that crime. It's double jeopardy. What they did in charging Hunter is they protected him from future charges on these same crimes. So this isn't just the sweetheart deal. This is the sweetheart deal of all sweetheart deals. Um, it looks like for the Bidens in this life, there will never be any justice, but we know that there's a God in heaven who sees everything. And um, I'm having a hard time believing that Joe's excuses and Hunter's excuses are going to work on Judgment Day. Matt and I will, that's what I think about all of this anyway. I think it's uh, just a bunch of horse shit. And it, to be honest, it just makes me feel sick about our system. 37 felony charges for my president, but then a real criminal is just let go. Matt and I will continue to bring you the news as it happens. Guys, have a wonderful rest of the night.